Hey friends, ever felt that connecting to space was a distant dream for our ordinary people? Well, it used to be, but now with just a smartphone, you can bridge that gap. Whether tracking remote areas, deserts, mountains, or sailing at sea, facing ground communication blind spots, or dealing with major disasters causing vegetation damage, satellite communication technology becomes crucial. In the past, satellite communication often required traditional satellite phones. It's very thick and very stupid, just like this. Now, direct satellite calling from your phone is within reach. With companies like Huawei leading the way, the Huawei Mate 68, for instance, has ignited interest by incorporating satellite communication features potentially booming a standard feature in smartphones. Do you remember in our previous videos we discussed about how Huawei Mate 60 Pro equipped with satellite communication? With Huawei's breakthrough in direct satellite from your phone field, several companies are actively entering this arena, triggering a new wave of capital compensation and benefit satellite communication concept stocks. So, some questions arise. Do you need a specialized phone for satellite communication? Which phones already support it? And how do their features compare to the regular smartphones? Is the cost of satellite phones and communication services high? Has this technology matured? Or is the industry speculating on concepts? and preparing for future trends. Well, my friend, I'm Sheila Wang. I'm here to bring you the latest business and investment information. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's dive into today's topic. Firstly, this surge in satellite phone popularity is indeed a revolution led by Huawei. With the Mid 60 Pro dedicated satellite SIM card, you can connect it to satellite thousands of kilometers away, making calls and sending messages directly from their phones. How powerful it is, right? So I'm just wondering about how much does this cost? Well, as I know, in collaboration with China Telecom, Huawei offers a base package for 10 yuan per month, including two minutes of satellite calls. Additional voice package range from 200 to 500 yuan, providing 50 to 200 minutes of direct satellite calling. Outside the package costs are 9 yuan per minute for domestic and Hong Kong, Macau, Taiwan calls, and 20 yuan per minute for international calls, 50 yuan per minute for international satellite calls. Oh, or it's priced a little bit high. Oh, but the satellite calling sector has been increased interest following Huawei's breakthrough. So I think the price will quickly break down by this new commerce. Recently, Apple's satellite service provider Global Star paid SpaceX $64 million to launch satellite between 2023 to 2025, expanding Apple's iPhone SOS satellite service. Qualcomm also announced a collaboration with brands like Huawei, Xiaomi, Oppo, Vivo, Motorola to develop smartphones with satellite communication capabilities. On October 11th this year, SpaceX Starlink introduced a new direct-to-sell service. Elon Musk revealed that SpaceX Starlink business has achieved cash flow equilibrium. So you can see all the giant companies are moving quickly on this field. There's no doubt that this technology trend has catalyzed various aspects of industry chain in recent days. So you may ask, how big is the space market exactly? In terms of global satellite industry revenue, according to SIA, the 2021 total space economy grew by 4% to $386 billion, with commercial satellite industry contributing 17%, which amounts to $279.4 billion, and a 3% increase from 2020. So you can just imagine how big this field is. Well, beyond phones, 
companies are expanding satellite communication tech to other terminals. In September 2023, Jiker Moto announced that a global first mass-produced car with satellite communication technology, offering two-way satellite messaging and calling. In the consumer electronic sector, Huawei smartwatch Ultimate debuted with satellite communication technologies already. Well, now let's we move on the application scenarios. The booming outdoor sports industry is expected to drive satellite communication industry growth. Outdoor sports have become a popular lifestyle in developed countries like USA and Europe. In recent years, especially post-pandemic period, the participation rate is expected to raise further. Outdoor sports are a high-growth segment in the global sports industry, covering various activities like climbing, biking, camping, skiing, and more. With policy guidance and consumer demand, China's outdoor sports industry continues to expand. So my friend, lastly, I just want to see the satellite communication industry is witnessing continuous catalytic events, ongoing downstream application scenarios, and resident developments in satellite communication network construction domestically and internationally. The development of satellite communication networks is posed for a new opportunity. So, if you are interested in detailed investment analysis and industry insights, just subscribe my in-depth report below. See you next time, my friend.